This week on Wildcat News, we'll see what's going on with homecoming prep. We'll also get an update on your Wildcat sports. I'm Adrian Gaskin. And I'm Philip Fulkert. And, and this is Wildcat, Wildcat News. News. Let's go see what's up with the Wildcats. Thanks to everyone that came out to the flag football game yesterday. We helped raise a lot of money for the United Way. Richmond Hill High School is planning its annual College Expo Night for Tuesday, October 24th. This is designed to provide an opportunity for students and parents to meet up with college representatives. Are you planning to get your learner's permit or driver's license? You will need a certificate of school enrollment. These certificates are issued once a week and you will need to request it online at the Richmond Hill High School website. Visit the school website for more details. If you are planning on taking the SAT at RHHS, register by November 2nd and take it on December 2nd, or register by February 9th to take it March 10th. Juniors and seniors, the ASVAB will be administered at Richmond Hill High School on November 15th. To sign up, go to the school website. Remember to turn in the impact aid form to your fourth block teacher. Skills USA will be selling holograms the whole month of October. For more information, go to the school website. Happy spooky season! Hey, Polkerts, have you gone to any of the homecoming meetings? No, but I probably should. Let's go see how Richmond Hill is getting wild this homecoming. Hey, Wildcats, it's Dylan Randolph. I got a chance to talk with the senior class president and senior vice president on homecoming week. The senior class president Logan Huggins and senior class vice president Christina Reimer have been working for the past few days on getting stuff ready for the senior hall, which is themed freak show. We decided for our overall theme to do like Richmond Hill Gone Wild. We were trying to do something different than like what's been done in the past. And since it's so close to Halloween, we were trying to do almost like a spooky kind of theme. For Logan Huggins and Christina Reimer, this is their last year to help with the setup of the hall and the float. The moment they look forward to the most is when the final product is finally ready to see. There's like having that weight off your shoulders. Yeah. This has been Dylan Randolph reporting for Wildcat News. We'll be back with Wildcat Sports after this. Why do you always have to cause these problems? I feel so attacked right now. Well, I just want to know how to break one. I don't get why you're acting I just, like that. I don't understand. I forgot to pre-order my yearbook, okay? Just give me a break. I forgot to pre-order my yearbook. Just give me a break. God's got to be kidding me. Pre-order your yearbook online so you don't miss out like she did. Unbelievable! Hey everyone, Ben Mike here, Richmond Hill's largest sports nerd. And it's time for a look at our walk at sports. She can say in her voice and her way that she likes. Your walk at football team had a bye week last week, so tomorrow they take on Bradwell at Bradwell in the region over starting at 7.30. If you can't travel to the game, then you can find it on TV because for the second time this season, we have the WSAV Friday Night Game of the Week. Your Lady Wildcats played in the region tournament last week, beating Brunswick in the first round 9-1. to one. They would move on to a best of three region championship series against Effingham, in which they would get swept two games to none. But your Lady Wildcats still get to host a doubleheader tomorrow as they face Houston County in the first round of the state playoffs. If they split the doubleheader, then the rubber match will be on Saturday at Warner Robins. Your Wildcat Volleyball team hosted the region tournament on Saturday. They end up finishing in third place in the region and they will be the three seed in the state playoffs. The first round of the state playoffs is today as they travel to Charles Drew High School. Our Wildcat cross country team had a meet at Albany High School on Saturday. Your boys and girls teams both finished second place overall. They have a meet here today at four as it is their final meet before regionals. Make sure to show support for your runners. This has been Big Mike reporting your Wildcat Sports. Now let's check out our weekend forecast.
Hey Adrian, have you heard any good songs lately? No, I've been meaning to make a new playlist. Well, let's go hear what's new with this week's Song of the Week. Hey guys, it's me again, Justin Schofield. And uh, as you guys can probably tell from the slight stubble on my face, I'm in college now. So uh, I won't be able to host Song of the Week anymore for you guys. So I'm passing the torch on to my buddy Riley Franzel. Uh, his music taste is pretty good, almost as good as mine. But uh, I think he's going to do a pretty good job. So you guys enjoy. Maybe it's the last night When the world was a time with this and that I was young, didn't know to hold it back Now we here in the world of something else We could leave any day and call for help We were gods, nobody was above me The A on my chest like a dolce The A on my chest, put your fist up Thanks Justin, now to the review The first song of the week is Earth, The Oldest Computer by Childish Gambino Earth, The Oldest Computer is the next to the last track off Gambino's 2013 album Because of the Internet I chose this song because it's a great example of Gambino's versatility and ability to progress and evolve his style. It's quite the departure from Camp, Gambino's 2011 debut LP. The track opens up with an airy synth melody, which are really complemented by Gambino's vocals. Turns out they're pretty good, and they add a lot of feel to the track. The intro is followed up by his first verse, where he spits some pretty gnarly bars to a dark electronic beat that wouldn't really be out of place in the Tron soundtrack. Later on in the track, Azalea Banks link lends some vocals to further amplify the vibes. The message of the song is to do what you can while you're still alive. The entire track is an allusion to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. In that novel, the Earth is referred to as Sol 3. It's a supercomputer that's designed to find the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. Thus, we get the title, Earth, the Oldest Computer. Some other songs that you should check out are Bonfire, off of Camp, and Redbone off of Awaken My Love, because these tracks show Gambino's current artistic direction as well as his roots in hip-hop. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Spotify at RHMusicGuy, and this has been Riley Franzo, your new hostess song of the week. Having a bad day? Get your cat's coffee shop today. Michelle Taylor. Where are you from? Oh, that's a hard one. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> I was born in Virginia. Is that what you want? Or, okay. Um, how many kids do you have? I have two. Can I call them monsters on this? Yes. <laughs> um, what's the craziest thing your kids have done? Oh my gosh, what haven't they done? I feel, since I'm a nurse, I'll say they poop everywhere when they were really little. Kids poop everywhere. Projectile. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> They're um, going to hate me for this. <laughs> What advice do you have for students? Ooh, just try your best. Just try your best. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brassy girls everywhere. Hands, hands, hands in the air. Somebody over here. Shaking for the man of the year. Oh, uh, met man of the year. Met man of the bounce. Brassy girls everywhere. Hands, hands, hands in the air, so party over here. Shaking for the man of the year. Yeah, yeah. we got yeah. You can't tell me. Yeah. yeah. Remember, I was broke. Yeah. Now I'm getting rich. I'm Adrian Gaskin. And I'm Philip Fulkerts. And, and this, this has been, been Wildcat, Wildcat News. News.